If you're looking for an elegant sports watch that has the pretty standard 21 day battery life, but has 150 sport modes, you are gonna to wanna to check out the Amazfit GTR3. ZDNet's Matt Miller has been testing this sports watch out for us. Matt, give us your first impressions of this device. Yep, so this is the GTR3. Um, it was just released uh, last couple of weeks. Um, as you said, Beth, it's it's a really, it's a great watch, right? And I'll start off by saying this runs, as I've talked about in videos before, RTOS, a real-time operating system. So it's not a Google watch. It's not an Apple watch. It's one of the ones that uh, is customized by the company. Um, and as you mentioned, with that comes very long battery life, 21 days. So um, the GTR3, um, available for only $180 in two colors. This is the, the Thunder Black one. Um, it's five atmospheres, water resistance. It's very lightweight. You know, I, I, you can kind of see on here, there's a there's a vibrant display. Um, it's a super brilliant high resolution 454 by 454 pixels, uh, 1.4 inch AMOLED. I mean, it is um, very, very nice display on there. And it's got very nice design elements. It's it's glass here, then it transitions into a nice aluminum on the side that's a matte finish. Very, very comfortable silicon band. Uh, for GPS use, you mentioned 21 days is your typical smartwatch, wear it every day, tracks your sleep, tracks different things. And then if you're gonna go out and do a run with GPS, you actually get 35 hours of continuous use, which is a level that we see on um, pretty expensive GPS sports watches. So 35 hours is going to cover, you know, some pretty long runs and workouts and things like that, or days and days of that. Um, it has the BioTracker 3 sensor, it calls on the back. Um, as you can see there, this tracks blood oxygen, sleep, uh, your breathing rate, stress, and just about any kind of health metric that we've seen nowadays it can track. Um, it has more than 150 sport modes on there. And as part of that, eight different typical modes, elliptical, um, walking, running, swimming, eight of those can be tracked automatically. You can set it up to recognize when that exercise has been going on for 10 minutes, it'll just pick it up in case you forget to, to turn on the tracking and you're doing an activity. Um, you know, the, the watch itself is very powerful. There's uh, certain apps that Amazfit provides on here. There's not a lot of third-party apps. There are something like, I don't know, 50 or more watch faces, so plenty of watch faces to choose from. Um, you're not going to load on there some of your special apps that you see on, on a Google Watch or an Apple Watch, but everything you need for a smartwatch is on there. Um, and the the real power behind it comes with the smartphone app itself. So for Android and iOS, there's an app called Zepp, Z-E-P-P. And if you go through this app, it's almost too confusing because there's so much in there. But it takes all the data that's captured by the watch, gives you different reports, lets you know how you're doing. And it actually has a lot of coaching things and uh, tips for improving your sleep. It'll give you a sleep report and say, you know, maybe you should go to bed a little bit earlier. Try not to have a drink before bed. I mean, all these kind of tips and tricks and things like that to try to help you get better. Um, it's overall, it's a pretty amazing experience. And, you know, these are available on Amazon now. Um, you know, these uh, these Amazfit watches are becoming, I think, more popular because they're a reasonably priced watch um, and they're, they're extremely powerful. Okay. And last year we saw the GTR2. How is this? Uh, how is this version different from last year's? Sure, and you know it's kind of funny. Um, Amazfit did something new this year, so in my opinion, the the GTR three is actually a bit of a downgrade from the GTR two, which you wouldn't expect. Um, the major, I mean, the hardware is almost the same. It has the same one point three nine inch AMOLED display. Same battery size. I mean, if you were to hold, hold them side by side, you'd barely see a difference. The operating system that's on the watch has been updated. So it's a little bit zippier, a little bit more responsive. It has a slightly different look to it. Um, but the GTR2 had a speaker. So if a phone call came in, you could take a Bluetooth phone call with it. 
This one does not have a speaker. It does have a microphone, so it supports Amazon Alexa uh, commands, but it won't give you a audio audible feedback. Um, the GTR2 also had onboard music storage. This one does not. Um, but this one does have a longer battery life thanks to the improved operating system. So it's a bit of a step down from the GTR2 if those things were important to you. It's the same price as the GTR2 was and, and everything else, um, the ZEP app and all that kind of stuff. So what's interesting is what Amazfit did is the real upgrade to the GTR2 is the GTR3 Pro, which I don't have in hand, but it looks very similar to the GTR3. It has a slightly larger display, 1.45 inches. Um, it actually has a leather band that it comes with, so it's kind of targeting a, a higher end. But like the GTR2, it has a speaker for the Alexa and for the calls. It has the onboard music that we saw in the GTR2. So it's essentially the GTR2 that's a little bit bigger, has the newer operating system, um, and that kind of thing. And it's only $50 more. So you kind of got to balance out what you want and $50 isn't a huge increase. The one thing to know is the battery life actually goes from a 21 day battery life down to 12. Um, and I don't know if that's just because that larger display is, is taking that and consuming that, but it does have the same size battery. So it, it, it must be the larger display that's uh, sucking it down and the music storage and things like that. But, but overall, you know, and, and one thing that I've, I've I'm trying to do. I have so many watches. I mean, they, these watches come in every two, three weeks, so it's hard to stick with one. But I would really love to do a long-term test on this because it offers so much that it takes time to really dive into it. So I'm going to try to do like a one or two month or three month with uh, with an Amazfit watch because they offer quite a bit, and we do see kind of an annual update with these things as well. All right, Matt, thank you so much for testing out all of these devices. Um, as always, we have links to the products down below, as well as a link to Matt's written review if you want to see it uh, written out there all in one place. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things tech.